remember being seven years old and the time till your next birthday seemed about a hundred years. And from eight to nine years old, it was around 50 years. And now the six months between Sukkot and Pesach seems to have shrunk to about six weeks. And it seems we're just after we're putting away the sukkah, we start to search for chometz. I have a theory that we experience the passage of time as a fraction of the amount, the total time that we've already lived. Meaning, the longer you live, each moment becomes a smaller fraction of your life to date. I remember my father, Oliver Shalom, saying that when he was 70, the last 10 years had passed in the twinkling of an eye. And at the time, I couldn't relate at all to what he was saying. Now I know exactly what he means. Each second adds to the total of our life, but each second becomes a smaller fraction of the whole, and so the seconds seem to go faster, and the years get shorter. Why did Hashem make us this way? However long your life is, it's only relatively long compared with the lives of others. In absolute terms, even the longest life is like yesterday when it has passed. As you get older, you actually see time contracting faster and faster, rushing towards the end of your life. They say that youth is wasted on the young. An intelligent person will take heed of this acceleration of time and try to use his or her time more wisely. The Torah tells us that Sarah lived for 127 years. It says Sarah's lifetime was 100 years, 20 years and 7 years. Why repeat the word years three times? Maybe the Torah is hinting to us that Sarah's perception of time when she was seven years old was no different from that at 20 or 100, just as at 100 years old she knew how precious every God-given second was. So too it was when she was 20, and even when she was seven, when the distance between one birthday and another seemed an eternity.